So far in this series, we've talked about reimagining the in-person event, a hybrid events, looking at conferences and associations for ideas, using peer-to-peer -peer fundraising, and now we're going to talk about number five, becoming really good at storytelling. The pandemic reminded us that without being able to interact normally with our donors, we needed to find compelling ways to get them to engage with us and our nonprofit story. When people feel a deep emotion, their brain releases the chemical dopamine. They feel emotionally attached, which helps them to relate to the story and builds an active connection to the cause. When nonprofits engage in effective storytelling, they increase the likelihood that supporters want to be part of the solution and will activate that feeling into giving or volunteering for the organization. When I was a young child, we would drive seven hours to the beach. The windows were rolled down in our baby blue 1964 Buick Skylark, but the temperature was stifling. My brother and I would be bickering with each other. We drew the line down the center of the back seat, daring the other one to cross it as we screamed insults in between hitting each other. That was until mom diverted our attention using the Burma shave signs along the side of the road to keep us busy. Each sign was about this big. It was red with white lettering and it only had two to four words written on it. The next one was in two to three miles and it also had just a few words written on it. We had to remember the, the words on the previous sign to keep up the mystery. After several miles, we finally got to read the last sign and solve the riddle. For instance, the successive sign said, big mistake. The next one said, many make. The next one said, rely on the horn. The next one said, instead of the, and the last sign said, the break. Big mistake, many make, rely on the horn instead of the break. Then the next set of signs would start and the joke or the rhyme would keep us engaged again. See, this is a model you can use to tell your story. What if you told a story about your recipients a few words at a time in your emails, your snail mail letter, or social media? It's like the binge worthy shows where it has a mystery and intrigue and you control, but you control the dripping of the content. If you create anticipation, tension, and captivate attention, people will read your emails, social media, and watch your videos. And more than watch, you can and will increase their desire to give. 